Yeah, well, welcome back to the Bobcat Forever YouTube channel. On this channel, we shoot all kinds of stuff. And today, I have the uh, Taurus Tracker 357 Magnum, and going to shoot. Uh, normally, I'd be shooting some ash lumber, but we used up most of the ash, so I have some beech here, which I think is pretty tough wood, and uh, can be a probably a pretty short video. Uh, I don't know about that. Last uh, time, I would shot some uh, lead flat nose bullets. And uh, they didn't really go very far uh, into the wood. So uh, I now picked up some uh, full metal jacket, also flat nose bullets in 357 Magnum. So we're going to shoot, first I'm going to shoot the uh, lead flat nose bullet. And then we'll come back and shoot the full metal jacket flat nose bullet. They're both 158 grain. So we'll see where they go. It would go a lot better if I hit the wood. I think we'll uh, do that again and see if we can't actually hit the wood in the center. Yeah, I think that wood must be pretty hard. It doesn't want to Wow Now that came up here you can see where the bullet went It went uh, through the first board and uh, Went about halfway through the second board. And split off a couple pieces here. But it uh, did not get to the third board. So that's the uh, lead flat nosed 357 mag. So we'll reset and uh, hit it with the full metal jacket bullet. And this uh, beach is about one and an eight inches thick, so it's fairly thick. So next I'm going to shoot the 357 uh, Magnum with the full metal jacket flat nose bullet. And we'll see if I can actually hit the wood. Another crummy shot. Wow. Well, loaded another full metal jacket bullet. Let's <laughs> see if I can hit the wood. Yeah, that went a little bit better. So we'll check, see where that one went. Well, it went through the first board. Through the second board. Split the third board, went about uh, three-fourths the way through the third board. And uh, here is the uh, bullet. Not, uh, not very much deformed. So definitely the uh, full metal jacket goes further 
But again, this is still pretty tough wood, so it doesn't go a whole long ways. Well, thanks for being with me down at the farm. I think we're going to call it quits after that. I'm running out of wood. So, <laughs> we'll put a video together. And uh, maybe I should chop out my bad shots. Anyhow, thanks for being here. Today I've got some uh, beach out here. I'm going to shoot through it with the uh, 38 uh, Special. This is out of the Taurus Tracker. And uh, we uh, shot some 357s earlier, so we'll see what the 38 Special does. I'm going to shoot a round nose uh, lead bullet and then compare it to a full metal jacket uh, bullet, both of the same uh, weight. So we'll see uh, where it goes. The beach is pretty tough wood, though. First, the lead round nose bullet. Well, I keep pulling those off to the side. Well, we'll try that again with a lead round nose bullet, see if we can actually hit the wood. Well, I did manage to hit it. Well, that bullet went about two-thirds of the way through the wood on there. Ah, matter of fact, the bullet is in this piece. So, uh, yeah, about two-thirds of the way through for the uh, lead round nose bullet. Now we'll get ready and uh, shoot the uh, full metal jacket. Okay, now the 38 Special full metal jacket. Well, I can tell you that bullet popped back and landed at my feet. So the uh, full metal jacket Looks like it went through uh, There's the bullet. Full metal jacket went clear through this piece and just put a dent in the second board and the bullet bounced off of that board and landed back here about 10 feet at my feet. So that wood is pretty hard. My shooting's pretty poor, but uh, anyhow, we'll put a video together with this comparing uh, the lead round nose versus the uh, full metal jacket on the uh, 38 Special and on the uh, 357s. Did the same thing with the 357s. So uh, thanks again for being here, and uh, we'll put it together and uh, see how it turns out. Now back here again with the uh, Taurus uh, 692. This time I have the uh, nine millimeter cylinder in there. And uh, we're gonna shoot at the beach again uh, with the nine millimeter. We compared it uh, to the uh, 38 Special and the 357s before in the ash. And uh, I was gonna skip it this time, but I thought somebody might ask, well, what, what did the nine millimeter do? <laughs> So we'll uh, shoot the 9mm and see what it does into the beach. Yeah, we'll take a look. Well, the 9 millimeter full metal jacket made it through the first board. Actually made it through the second board. And the 
and split out the third board and it's about maybe not quite halfway through this third board. So the nine millimeter hits pretty hard, <laughs> which is a little bit surprising. But anyhow, uh, again, uh, we will put our video together and uh, show all this, uh, the nine millimeter, the 38 uh, special and the 357 Magnum all together. And uh, everybody can take a look at it and decide for themselves. All right, thanks again.